I've heard the Curious Expedition described as 80 days meets FTL, and since I'm such a huge fan of FTL, I decided I would give it a try. Hey, what's up guys, Trex here, and welcome to Zero Experience, the series where I have zero experience playing games. This episode, we are checking out the Curious Expedition. Now, it is an early access game, did not know this uh, when I saw Total Biscuits Game of the Year video, but apparently it's still in early access. No worries, it should still be fine. So I'm going to start us a new game where we have a bunch of characters, it looks like. Uh, who do we have? Charles Darwin. Oh, okay, are these actual characters? Mary Curie. Okay, they must be actual char uh, characters. Richard Francis Burton. Uh, Nikola Tesla. Ooh. R.I.P. David Bowie. If you've seen The Prestige, you know what I'm talking about. Frederick Courtney Sellis. Never heard of him. And H.P. Lovecraft, the author. Oh. Hold on. I think I yes, I do. Over here on my bookshelf, I have the complete HP Lovecraft fiction. Now I haven't actually read any of this. Um, but it was like five dollars in Barnes and Noble. And it's really nice and it's massive. So yeah, I have the complete oh it has a bookmark. Oh, that's awesome. The complete HP Lovecraft fiction. Fiction. So that's, that's interesting. Call of Cthulhu at the Mountains of Menace. Down on shore. Alright, this isn't a Barnes and Noble ad. I'm going to put this back. I also have Grace Adventures of Sherlock Holmes and Dune Barnes and Noble editions. But anyways, as I was saying, who should we play off, play as? Very sensitive American author. Uh, Nikola Tesla. Oh, I, I really like Tesla, so I'm going to go with him. Alright. Now, go explore. Your adventure awaits. Who are we up against? Isabella Bird, Freya Stark, Diane Fortune, and Alistair Crowley. So, let's choose our next destination. Are we confined to Africa, the strange grasslands? It appears so. We have 10 fame and 30 funds. Oh man, Nikola Tesla only has 10 fame? Hey, after being too excited to sleep, I made haste and arrived at the docks. There's still some preparations necessary, so it's just a message delivered. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Vessel is ready for departure, so set sail. Expedition 1. Here we go. Alright, we are sailing to Africa, or the Strange Grasslands, as it's called, I think. That's some alligators? Okay, okay, so is this like a civilization style where we have tiles or, I mean, Settlers of Catan or Civilization? Kind of looks like a mix of both. Oh, that's good root beer. H-E-B brand root beer. Delicious. After barely surviving one of the most monstrous thunderstorms I've ever witnessed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nothing in the ship storage. Okay. Uh, let's just begin the expedition. Can deliver the letter. Keys, 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 keys. I don't know, so I have to deliver the letter. Ooh, okay, I can. Oh, there's a village. Alright, um. I guess we just. Okay, tr just click to travel. And we have an expedition crew of Tesla, Jean Paul Le Mercier, uh, and Sam Shoravji, and Sir Pasco the Donkey. Sir Pasco the Donkey. This donkey has a title. Man, what is up with British royalty? Alright, can't... How do we get to the village? Won't let me through this way. So I'll go that way, I guess. Okay, not much music. Um, oh yeah, I turned that down when I was testing this. Because it was super, super loud. But, yep, anyways, that's good enough. Okay, get to the village. Where's some music? Come on. Uh, this is still really loud. Alright, enter the village. Let's see what we got here. Villagers were some form of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, reading. Deliver the letter, because that's what I was called to do. But the elder man in the middle was compulsive talk. Told us about this holy shrine, which you marked on that. Blah, blah, blah. Rest in the village. Yes, offered us hollow fruits with an alcoholic beverage. Heck yeah. Uh, drink beverage. It tasted bitter, and the evening became more enjoyable. Alright, sleeping around. Already buzzing with activity. Uh, can we recruit people? Oh, guess not. Okay, trade. What can we trade? Haggle. 
Hmm. Horn flute. Spear any valuables and native trinket. That might be what can I trade for this fireworks? Yeah, yeah, trade those fireworks. And that whiskey. What? Whiskey. Uh native trinket seems pretty valuable, so yeah, there we go. Alright. Now let's just leave the village behind, I guess. And turn that music down because it's still really loud. Oh, so there's the shrine, I suppose. Nope, nope, leave the village. Alright. Let's get this question mark if we can. 38. What 38 was? Is that 38 days or moves or tiles or something? Sanity. Must be sanity. So this is our sanity bar, so we might go insane or something. Uh, enter the hut. Hmm. Kind of looks like. Kind of looks like Yoda's hut on Endor. We entered a mysterious looking hut. It was dark and damp inside with all kinds of dried herbs and other peculiar things hanging from the damp walls. A native shaman approached us with an absent stare as he chewed on some leaves. It's cleansing. Payment up front. What has. What what do we need to give him? Can I trade that? Okay. Co cocoa leaves. Torn page of targeted teleportation. We'll trade our trinkets for that. That sounds awesome. Okay. Spear. Uh, I don't know if that'll be useful or not. Uh, I guess so. Maybe. There we go. That's a good deal. Let's do that. Grab the goods and... Okay. Cleanse. After a while, well, he calmed down. We helped Sam Sorbji get to his feet. It's time to slip the present his rares. Oh, we already traded with him. No deal. Cancel. Alright, let's just leave this shaman behind. What else have we got around here? Can we only explore the light area? Okay. Alright, moving around. Let's go to this shrine. As the Indian chief told us. What is this? New region. What is this floating thing? I want to go there. He's saying the shrine. A temple, long forgotten by mankind, stood bathed in the light before us. Its stone walls were covered with ornate engravings. Low hanging vines partially concealed the entrance that led within a thick layer of sand that led within. There's no period after that. A thick layer of sand seemed to surround the structure. Let's enter the shrine. Carefully entered a well-preserved ceremonial chamber. If this place held any riches, I knew we would find them here. I have my breath as we discovered an ancient altar in center. Alright, so this has really nice art and pretty good music. It's very FTL-y. Ooh. Golden Goblet and Golden Eagle. I'm gonna take that. Now, it's gonna collapse on itself, I guess, and there's gonna be a bowler rolling after us. This was not a day of hesitation. We took the artifact from the altar. We grabbed what we couldn't hurry outside as the holy area around us began to wither and die. We cannot tell how, but it seemed like we had caused some kind of shift in the climate of this region. Okay, uh, let's check out this butterfly stuff. Sam's Petite Flyer. That's cool. Um, any way for us to get to... Oh, we can get to this question mark. So let's head there. Uh, we can get there. Oh my gosh, what is happening? Oh my gosh, what the heck was that? Uh, we killed everything. Oh man, we just destroyed everything. We interstellared it up. Wow. Uh, let's enter the stone circle. Is this like Skyrim? Do I get to select my ancient stone powers? Ugh. We came across a stone formation that seemed to be man-made. There are inscriptions etched into each rock. Maybe they formed a kind of map. Found that they would help us gain insight into an area of our choice. Click on an area. I have no sanity left. I'll just click there. Ooh. Okay, is there... Hyenas. Okay, I don't know. Uh, but we are... We have zero sanity left, so I'm gonna try and get back to our ship before we go insane. I... Okay, I guess that's it. Ship lay where we left it. It almost felt like being safe. But can we put stuff in the ship? Ooh. Oh, butterfly collection. Uh, let's sail home. Yeah, we're in, we're about to go insane, so let's just leave this expedition behind. All right, we escaped. Current fame ten, new fame ten. Finish the expedition. Oh, what a day! What a lovely day! Mad Max Fury Road got nominated for best picture. I don't know how it got nominated over Carol or whatever. 
and Carol's getting like massive reviews. But Mad Max got nominated for Best Picture along with The Revenant and The Martian. Sadly, Star Wars did not get nominated nor did Inside Out. But yeah, that's really surprising. Uh, Triumph, she was a perk. Lone Survivor. Good reputation. Ooh. A cult vision reveals locations of all stone circles and increasing the radius from analyzing them. That sounds good, so let's get that. So, wait, how do they, how do we get famous? We only have 10 fame, they have a whole bunch of fame. I don't know. Oh man, what does this do again? Page of information, challenge in front of there, but I don't need to read it. Return this item home, deliver it as fame. Hmm. I don't know. I'll gift that to a museum. Gift that to a museum. Gift that to a museum. And sell that now. We are almost as famous as Aleister Crowley. But anyways, that's the Curious Expedition. Kind of like 80 Days and FTL combined, like people say. Uh, it's definitely early access. There are some rough bits. Like, I don't know how to get more famous. Uh, without selling stuff, like they just had a whole bunch of fame after their expeditions, and the music doesn't always play, which is kind of annoying because it's just kind of boring in some bits and quiet, and it's super, super loud, but still quite fun. Steam link in the description below. Oh, there goes the super loud music again. But Steam link in the description below if you want to check out this game, and thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all next time, and goodbye. <laughs>